Hello guys and welcome back on the Dapp World. In the previous part, we have discussed about the Solana program structure in Anchor project that we had initialized. Now let's expand that program and add our logic. So what are we building? We will build a program where a user can store an integer and later retrieve it. Also, this integer can be updated at any time. So let's call this program as storage program. Until now, we have following in our lib.rs file. Here we have created an account type, then the struct with name init. This struct contains one public variable value, which is of the type unsigned integer. This is where our integer will be stored. Now let's initialize this account in the derived account initialize struct that is already present. Let's understand what's going on here. This line defines that the following variable in account and the parameters passed in the account are account constraints. Init is the attribute to create or initialize new account. Basically on Solana, in order to keep your accounts active, you have to pay rent. So we are defining that the rent payer is the user account, that is signer. And then space. Here we are creating a new account, so need to specify the account size. Of course, this can be calculated according to the data we are storing in it. But let's keep it as it is for now. This is public variable initial account of type account which refers to the init account created earlier. In Rust, mute means the value is mutable, can be changed later on. So the account specified below is mutable and can be updated later on. And is storing the signer info in the public variable user. This is required by runtime for creating and managing the account. So let's keep it as it is. We will see later how to pass this value from front end. Let's understand the lines added in the above function. Here keep in mind that we have passed context as arguments in the function which specifies the struct defined already. And just now we have defined a variable initial account in the struct. So we have stored the reference of the account in new variable which is defined using let keyword and this one is too mutable that means it can be changed later. So mute is used and finally assigned a value 10 to it. So whenever we fetch the value from front end it will initially return 10. Now what we have initialized the value struct but can we update the value with just this piece of code? No, we have to write more. Now you might be getting this piece of code. We have actually defined one struct which is derived account and one account that is mutable and got the reference of init account and saved it in a public variable called storage account. I know you might have anticipated our next move that is defining the public function for this struct and you are right. I think here there is no need for the explanation. This function is same as initialize one except this function accept one more argument value. This is what the user will be setting in the program and we have assigned it in the variable from update value struct. If you are new to the Rust, it will be a bit difficult for you to understand these things but make sure you are coding with this course and experimenting yourself. This will boost your confidence. Alright, what's going on here? Accounts, derived accounts and what's this all? Let's discuss the Solana program model in next part. See you in the next tutorial.